Hi everyone and welcome to Are You May Love channel. Today I'll be showcasing Cornelia and Mother Sabil in the Eternal Dragon Boss. So for the Eternal Dragon Boss, Doom Tower Heart, I use this uh, setup which is uh, Duchess Lily 2 as a reviver, Cardia as a healer and applies the revive on death, Dragstar as the damage dealer using his HP burn, uh, Cornelia for her A1 to increase the skill cooldown and last but not least Mother Sabil to as a as a tanker to protect all the champions here. So what makes these two champions uh good for this Eter eternal dragon boss is because uh the eternal dragon boss is the only boss which is affected by this increasing skill cooldown. So using champions with this ability on the A1 is quite useful. And you do not you do not need her to be broke at all because if if you're using for this uh, eternal dragon boss for this skill. As for Mother Sabil, I do not have her book at all. Okay, and she's here for her useful passive skill, the Grave Walker, which fully heals the ally with the lowest HP whenever this champion is killed, and heal all allies by 20% of their max HP and fills their turn meters by 15% whenever this champion is revived. So this uh this Passive skill synergizes very well with having a revival on the team as well as a champion who can place a revive on death. If you have her this skill fully booked, then you may slot in a different champion, uh, like a better healer champion, an alternative champion who can heal and also cleanses. But Cardia is quite good for this boss, so I pick him for this role. So let's quickly look through their artifacts and masteries for both of these uh, champions. So for Mother Sabil, I equip her in Guardian Set uh, because Guardian Set absorbs 10% of all damage dealt to all allied ch champions and heals her by 10% of every turn. So this is a quite, quite good set that synergizes with her passive skill. So she takes all of the allied champion damage so she can die faster and heals the ally with the lowest HP. Okay. So what are the stats to prioritize for Mother Sibyl is HP, Speed and Resist for Doom Tower Heart. I have her in 64,000 HP. The recommended range for this HP is around 60 to 70,000 but not more than that. If you have too much HP, then she would take a long time to be killed by the enemies. And you want a lot of uh, speed so she can cycle through her skills faster. And this is very, very beneficial if you have her A2 skill book, which is the one that applies the uh, increased defense buff and revive on death buff. Alright, then the next step is uh, resistance. So for Doom Tower Heart Eternal Dragon Boss, he has accuracy of 350, so it's recommended to have at least 50 to 75 resist to resist most of his instant negative effects as well as his uh, block active skill debuff. Okay, so here are the artifacts. You can see it's mostly a prioritizing on the speed, HP, uh, resist, and defense. So here I have a HP glove, a resistant chest, speed boots, HP uh, ring, HP uh, amulet, and resistance banner. So for the skills, there's no skills book, and here are the masteries. So for the masteries, I selected defense and support. Defense to unlock a uh, bulwark mastery, so she uh, able to absorb extra more damage from her allies. And you can pick up all this uh, uh, delay death to reduce the damage intake. Circle revenge to boost her 10 meter if the eternal dragon boss uh, crit, crit critical hits. Retribution to counter attack the boss. And benefit and to benefit from her A1 uh, turn meter boost. And if the boss heals himself, she also heals uh, together. And some improved parry and defiant for additional resistance. For the support, I selected uh, Steadfast for more HP, Lay on Hands to give an additional healing, Rapid Response to boost her turn meter whenever her. Buff uh, expires. Merciful 8 to perform additional healing if the Eternal Dragon Boss applies fear on the ally. Lasting Gift to extend the buff. 
uh, for lower steel it's not so important because I'm currently using a mix set so preferably I would pick up solidarity to increase the ally resistance through her buff or you can pick cycle of magic uh, it's up to you so these are the artifacts I must raise for Mother Sabil let's see Cornelia's so these are Cornelia's uh, artifacts so I have her in retaliation set so she has a chance to counter attack and make the full use of her A1 suppressing swiftness to apply the skill cooldown alright so the total stats you can see here we have a HP as a priority speed and accuracy to land the instant negative effect and some decent amount of defense so here are the artifact stats HP glove, HP chest, speed boots, defense ring, defense amulet and accuracy banner so the skills are fully booked here are the masteries, it's similar to Mother Sabil with a defense and support mastery selected for the support mastery, I selected Eager Eye for more accuracy to land her debuff and pick the masteries that increases her accuracy like Charge Focus, Swarm Smiter, Pinpoint Accuracy, Sniper for in to increase her chances to land those effects and debuff Eager Eye is not so important here because Eternal Dragon Boss is immune to the crystal meter Alright then all this masteries is to boost her survivability and has a chance to counter attack on, on the retribution mastery okay so this is our the artifact masteries for Cornelia and Mother Sabia so let's head on to the Ethernet Dragon Boss the sequence of the, 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 the positioning of the champions is also quite important because uh, if Mother Sabir is placed last, should be revived last during the revive on death. So once these champions revive, let's say a Dragstar, Dragstar and Mother Sabir dies together to, uh, with the revive on death, the revive on death will uh, revive this person, Dragstar, followed by uh, Mother Sabir. Then Mother Sabir can heal him with her passive skill. Alright, let's start the battle. I'll speed up the first two runs so you can skip the first two wave. I'll set it to auto run. Alright, so we have very reached to the Eternal Dragon Boss. Let's have a quick look on his skills. So his first skill is Spike Storm, attacks all enemies and places a bullock active skills. So this is where you will need a cleanser or a person to apply the block debuff uh, to block his uh, debuff. Second one would be Spirit Rush, which he attacks all enemies. Third would be Soul Burst, which he attacks all enemies and put all enemy skills on cooldown. And fourth is the passive skill, which he summons his minions. The fifth skill is Consume Soul, where he con uh, sacrifices uh, his minion at the start of the turn. Then his so first, second, third, his third passive skill is Otherly Wall, which makes him immune to all crowd control skills, poison, heal reduction, and decrease speed, and any uh, turn meter reduction. So here you can make use of uh, HP Burn debuff and increase skill cooldown uh, skills against uh, Eternal Dragon Boss. Then last but not least, uh, our multi uh, passive skill, which caps the damage uh, done by skills that deals damage based on enemy max HP, up to 10%. So let's run this battle. So we have a Drexel Blood Twin to apply HP Burn on his A1 attack. Then Soul Shepherd from Mother Sabir to place the Revive on Death. You can target Eternal Dragon boss when you're performing auto. So Cordilla can apply her 
increase skill cooldown skill onto the dragon boss. So as you can see, Cordilla already applied her sleep debuff on the minions, so they won't be able to perform their special skill like applying decreased defense or provoke. So let, uh, I'll let it uh, run. I'll let this auto battle to run. Alright, uh, the Eternal Dragon Boss has finally been defeated. So as you can see here, from the battle results, we have Dragster Blood Twin that deals the most damage, 4.8 million damage. And the uh, best healer in this team would be Cardiel with a 1.2 or 1.3 million heal, followed by Mother Sabu, which is 1 million heal. You can also find uh, Mother Sabu build and Cornilla build in my website. So if you were to search Mother Sabil, click on this link and you can scroll down to the bottom of the page and under the Mother Sabil reference section, you can see the build that I've uh, tested. One of it is uh, the Arena Defense build using Guardian Set as well as the one that I've tested uh, today, which is the Doom Tower build, which also uses a uh, Guardian set, but it's built in high resist. So as you can see here, you can find all the stats on, of the artifacts that you can use as reference, as well as the masteries that I use for this build. And let's go back to see Cornelius. Right in this uh, Cornula page, you can also find the build in the Cornula reference section. So this is the first build that I've tested, which is built in all speed sets for Arena, as well as the Doom Tower build here uh, in retaliation set for the Eternal Dragon Boss. So as usual, you can find the Masteries and the artifact stats here. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, you can click on the subscribe button. It is free and it doesn't cost anything. And click on the notification bell icon so that you'll be notified for any uh, videos that I publish on my channel. You can click the like button if you found this uh, video interesting and helpful. And share to your friends so that they also can benefit from this video as well. Alright, thanks for watching. I'll see you again in the next video. Bye!